Hello, Alex Jordan here with your Canfield Weekly Update. Important weekend coming up throughout the state of Ohio for public schools. We actually have an OSBA conference that we have our booklets here for. Uh, your entire Board of Education, along with central office staff, will be attending this conference, Ohio School Boards Association. There will be keynote speakers, motivational speakers, along with hundreds of different sessions talking about student curriculum, facilities, safety and security, uh, many different topics when it comes to public schools. Very important time to come down, not only to collaborate with one another, we have, there is a trade show to giving us an idea of what's new out there in technology, software, different facility to conversations, uh, student, student affairs, just a great weekend. It actually starts at one o'clock on Sunday and the way the Browns are playing these days, I don't mind missing the game. So we'll start there at one o'clock and we won't come back until 3.30. We'll head back Tuesday afternoon after the final session. So uh, just so you know, school boards and central office staff just isn't a, a, an eight to five type of a job. It's surely ongoing and we try to update ourselves every way possible with the new administration at the state house not only um, in the head seat when it comes to governorship but also throughout the state many changes uh, even though the same party will be in charge there's still a lot of uh, conversation on what's going to be presented and what expectations they will have when it comes to ode so this is an outstanding very important weekend we're surely looking forward to it I want to mention a special staff member who really did an outstanding job last night. Jennifer Casanta, driver, was bringing back um, a team of ours basketball coming back from a scrimmage. And from the outside of the bus, she's clipping along at a pretty good speed. Outside of the bus, someone decided that they were going to get cute and throw a water bottle at the window. She was so calm and really her training kicked in on making sure that all of those that she was driving stayed safe, including herself. The front windshield shattered from this water bottle. Uh, the police are going to investigate to see where this bottle actually came from. But again, Jennifer, thank you for your efforts, not only keeping yourself safe, but all of the passengers involved really want to recognize her efforts and thank her for, for what she did last night. I want to remind all of our parents that parent-teacher conferences are coming up. Uh, CVMS will be on the 19th. Elementary and high schools will be having it on the 20th. These are 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 o'clock in the evening. We set aside this day not only for staff to collaborate and get some professional development during the day without students, but also they can really focus on those conferences and make them worthwhile. We want to remind our parents that we are one of the districts that still have conferences all the way through and our parents take advantage of that. They're well attended and we want to make sure that we're cognizant of that. So try not to take it over your time. Be respectful for the time that's, that's scheduled for you. We've got a big playoff game coming up this Friday at Ravenna. Tickets are still on sale in our high school along with middle school. So if you have youngsters that would like to buy those pre-sale tickets, it not only saves you a buck folks, but it also we're able to retain just over $1 of each ticket that's sold pre-sale and keep it within our athletic fund. So again, it helps us out, it helps you out, and you won't have to stand in those lines Friday at the ball game. So please, if you're interested, send that money, money in with your youngsters. We're gonna send it over to science department Last year, we purchased some nice new gently used, I don't even think they were used, they actually came right out of the box, a local school system that I guess had some extra funds um, that was set aside for, for, for their youngsters and purchasing some equipment. Um, sometimes, I guess I'll just say other districts receive a lot more funding than here in Canfield and they have to use those funds or they lose them. And sometimes that equipment is purchased and doesn't necessarily get in the hands of the teachers. So we're fortunate enough to swoop in and via auction, purchase some unbelievable microscopes that are being utilized by our science department. So we're gonna to toss it over to those folks and hear how they're actually accommodating. Okay, um, well, my name is Nicole Hake and um, 
past nine weeks I was in the forensics class and we currently got new microscopes and uh, we I use the dissecting microscope to look at fingerprints and uh, I used it to look at the different patterns and like the ridges and the fingerprints and see how you can individualize it for each person as well as we use them to look at fabrics and look at also look at the different pa patterns in the fabrics as well as to see like the different fibers inside it and stuff. Hmm. And I'm Yusuf Jadun and currently I'm taking a nap phys and we use the compound microscopes to look at skin under uh, skin slides under the microscope and with the microscopes you were able to focus in on them and differentiate between the different structures uh, in the skin like uh, a hair follicle or a sweat gland you could you could see the entire structure and differentiate between the two. I'm Brendan Klingensmith and I'm a senior this year at Campfield High School and last year I took a nat in phys, and last nine weeks I took forensics. And going into college next year, I'm undecided in what career path I want to take, but taking forensics gave me a taste of what it would be like to do something with the application of criminal justice and science. So the microscopes are really cool because it was easy to use and see basically all the different components of the hair and fabrics, and we also use fingerprints. So just like, it was really eye-opening and awesome to see how it's all used. We end this, and we truly mean it. Um, we're very fortunate that last year we passed our renewal levy by almost 68%. That's because a lot of the hard work that goes into a levy campaign, but we really are blessed and fortunate that we have a community that, that has faith in us. And we sh they showed that with 68% of the vote. A lot of districts around the state of Ohio actually just this past week had very difficult times with renewals. Some of them barely passed by, by slim margins and some of them actually failed uh, their renewal levies. So again, thank you for your support. Thank you for having faith in us. And it truly is a great time to be a Cardinal.